All right, taking a look at this problem, it's a fun activity to use um, Desmos on, and it's also a fun problem to really put together the idea of when you're going to integrate with respect to X and when you're going to integrate with respect to Y if you're using the disk or the washer method. Okay, so the first, the problem says, find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region bounded by Y equals 4 squared to X and the line y equals 8 squared to 2 and x equals 0 about the first question is the x-axis. So I went over into Desmos, and this is kind of fun. Um, you can type the equation y equals 4 squared to x, and I just want to bound that to between 0 and 8, and you can see why, because when you do y equals 8 squared to 2, you can see that'll be, you know, they'll intersect right there at um, 8 comma 8 squared to 2. And... Um, and the x equals 0 is this, this, this axis right here. Now, if we're going to revolve that around the x-axis, you're just going to have a reflection of this first curve. So that's why I put the negative there. You can see that. And then, of course, you'll just need a reflection of the line y equals negative 8 squared to 2. So you can kind of get a nice graph. All right, so um, just imagine now that you are going to slice that up. So it's kind of creating like almost like a... You could almost think of it as a, a cylinder, um, and then the inside of it is cut out. So we have, I'm just going to draw in here, we have sort of an outer radius, and we have an inner radius. And so the idea here, so this is definitely going to be a washer method, and we're going to slice these washers perpendicular to the axis of rotation. So in this case, the axis of rotation is the x-axis. So we're slicing perpendicular to that, and we're stacking it along the x-axis, which means we are going to integrate with respect to x. And it also means that our limits of integration are going to be x limits. So um, thinking about that, you start at x equals 0, and then you end at x equals 8. So these are x limits, x equals 0, x equals 8. Um, the, when you use the washer method, you're going to do the outer radius minus the inner radius. So let me see. The outer radius is just, you probably are seeing, it's just that, that distance right there, which that length is just that 8 squared to 2. So the outer radius is 8 squared to 2, and you're going to square that. And then you're going to subtract the inner radius, which, uh, let's see if I can do, I'll make it yellow, highlight it. It's, it's that part, it's just going right to the curve. So the inner radius just goes right to the curve. So I'm gonna, let me undo, let me see if I can erase the outer radius. Or, okay, and so I'll, I'll draw it. This is that, this is the, the inner circle. And so that inner radius is just from there to there, which is gonna be from the x-axis up to the curve, which where, it just depends where you are along the x, but in general, it's four squared to x. So that's gonna be the curve four square roots of x, and then you're going to square that. And of course, you're going to have a pi, and then again, it's going to be a dx because you're integrating with respect to x. Now, I want to, um, this particular problem just says you have to round it to the nearest tenth. So while you could do this by hand, I'm sure you're probably a little tired of doing that. So just to reinforce how you do integration in um, with Desmos, if you just type int, it'll give you the integral symbol. Um, and actually, uh, yeah, and you can do 0 and then 8, and then you can put the pi right there. So just type pi or pi, and then make sure you put the parentheses, and then I'll just type it just as I see it. 8 sqrt is the square root of 2, and then we need that squared, and then um, minus the parentheses 4 square root of x, and then we'll close that parenthesis and we'll square that. And then we'll close the whole parenthesis and then put a dx. And it does give us this 1,608.495. They want it rounded to the nearest tenth, so that would be 0.5. Okay, so that's the first problem. Noticing that when we revolve around the x-axis or a horizontal axis of revolution, we are going to integrate with respect to x. Now for part b, they want us to revolve around the y-axis. So um, let's think about what that means. When you're revolving around the y-axis, uh, you you're still going to have you're still going to have this shape, right? This right here. But um, 
I'll just kind of, let me take this off here. You're not gonna need that, you're not gonna need that. You're still gonna have that shape, um, but because you're revolving around the y axis, you're gonna to wanna to integrate with respect to y. So you'll need to solve this equation in terms of y, which isn't always possible to do, but in this case it is. You have y equals four square roots of x. So if you solve that for y, first you would divide both sides by four. So you'll have y divided by four equals the square root of x, and then undo the squaring by squaring both sides. So you'll just have basically square both sides. So you'll have x is equal to y over four quantity squared. So that's another way to express, um, so I'll just take that off. That's another way, I put it right here, y over four quantity squared. And again, we, we want to restrict that. I'm not sure if I told you, but if you want to just restrict it on the y's from zero to that top y value, you'll just get that little piece. If you don't put this restriction in, you'll get the whole curve. It's kind of neat to put the restriction. Now we need that reflected across the y-axis. So that's how we get that. And then we need it to go really from negative um, eight to eight. So I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna choose this one, which would take it, so you can see I'm still using that y um, equals eight square root of two, that horizontal line, but I'm looking at it from negative eight to eight. So that's that pretty picture there. Um, and this one is a little bit easier. I think the disk method is a little bit easier. If you think about how you're gonna do that, um, you, you're you just gonna think of this, right? Slices along the y-axis. So you're slicing, in this case, perpendicular to the y-axis. And the radius there is just gonna be um, the distance from the y-axis out to the curve. But you have to describe that in terms of y. So your volume, and again, now you're gonna have y limits of integration because you're integrating along the y-axis. So you're gonna, you know, you're stacking along the y-axis. In this case, you have a, when you have a vertical axis of revolution, you're gonna stack along the y-axis. That's for this unit. Now, when you do the shell method, you do everything opposite, but just for this unit or for this section. Okay, so we're gonna, y limits of integration would be from zero to eight square root of two. We'll have our pi. And then now our radius is just that length right here, right? That length, which is just from the y-axis to the curve. So that's just, but it has to be expressed in terms of y. So that's just going to be that y over four squared. And then you have to square that. So it's that radius squared and then dy. Okay. And again, you can type that in to Desmos. Again, it'll be INT, you'll integrate from zero to eight square root two. You could of course do this by hand if you wanted, but it's kind of fun to use the Desmos. Then they'll do the pi and then parenthesis, parenthesis y divided by four. That whole thing is squared. And then coming out, you could square that again. So you could write this as, you know, um, y to the fourth over, I guess that would be whatever 16 squared is, is that 256, something like that. You could do that, um, I just kind of did it like this with very little math. Okay, and so we get that 454.95, so the, to the nearest tenth, that's gonna be 455. So that's that one. All right, now, what do we wanna do next? Now we wanna revolve it around the line y equals eight square root of two. So we're gonna have this horizontal axis of uh, rotation now, but it's gonna be y equals eight square root of two instead of the uh, x axis. So coming back in, you, I'll kind of show you, I we're gonna be looking at, I'll take all these off so we can kind of see it. You're still gonna have this original curve and you're gonna have that line y equals eight square root of two, but you wanna revolve it. So you need that reflection, this, a negative four squared to x, what'll happen is if you kind of think about it, that's gonna be shifted all the way up, really um, uh, 16 square roots of two, because you had the eight square roots of two and then another eight square roots of two. So this is just fancy if you wanna see how, that, how I got that graph. I shifted that whole previous one up um, 16 square roots of two. Okay, and again, just looking at that from, from zero to eight. So that's that, that's that one. Now, we have a, um, a horizontal axis of ro rotation, so we are going to slice this up. 
along the x-axis. So we are going to be integrating with respect to x on that one. So, and then this is just going to be this. There's no thing. But we have to think about this radius for a second. This might be a little tricky. We have to figure out what this distance is from 8 squared to 2 to the curve. And so kind of to me, the way to think about it is if you thought about this whole line from the horizontal blue line to the x-axis, you know that distance is 8 squared to 2. But you want to subtract from that the, the actual curve, you know, the, this, this part right here. So your radius is going to be equal to 8 square roots of 2 minus that section of the curve. Well, the curve was the 4 square roots of x. So it's a little tricky, but that's, that's the radius. Now that you know the radius, um, setting up the integral, you're just going to go along the x, so x-axis, x limits, so you're going to go from 0 to 8, 0 to 8, because that's right there is 8. Um, you still have the pi, and in this case, we just have wash, I mean, we just have disks, so it's just going to be um, 8 square root of 2 minus 4 square root of x, and all of that needs to be squared, and then the dx. So we can type that in. Um, you can kind of edit this one. I'll, I'll take this. We, we, want that, we don't want that squared. And we don't want this squared. But we want it squared on the outside. So I'm just being kind of lazy here. And we want it squared. Squared. Okay, so 536.2 would be the answer for that one. Okay, and then finally, now they want it revolved about along the line, um, the line x equals 8. Okay, so the x equals 8 line. So let's think about how we would draw that. So we have our original shape, um, and if we just sketch in the line x equals 8, uh, I've got it right there. There's the line x equals 8, and I want that whole shape revolved around that. Um, so your line is actually going to go, um, you're going to have that x equals, or the y equals 8 squared to 2, but you're actually going to want that from 0 uh, to uh, 16, because it's going to kind of show all the way around. So that's where I got that part from. And then you want this curve. Right now, it's going to because we're revolving around the uh, vertical axis, we are going to want to express it in terms of y. So I, here's my curve, negative y squared over four. I mean negative y over four quantity squared. But then I added 16 to get it to shift over. So this is a this is just kind of fun, helping you see the the graph there. Um, and then, of course, when you're showing your work on the problem, I would want you to sketch a graph. But this is how I got it to graph in Desmos. Um, so here, here, x equals 16. I just drew that in so it would kind of look like that. So it's this region here. So again, it kind of looks like a that shape. So you can imagine it's kind of all this shape revolved around. So again, it's like a cylinder with kind of like a, a part scooped out of it. Okay, um, so in order to get this uh, volume, you're going to want to have, think of washers again, right? And you're really going to have to put your thinking cap on this, right? And so the outer radius is pretty easy, right? The outer radius is just that distance from x equals 0 to x equals 8. That's just the outer radius. So the outer radius is 8. But the inner radius is, um, is this length right here. So it's this length right here. So how would you describe that length? Well, the whole length was 8, but then you have to subtract off this little piece right here, which is the function um, y, y over 4 quantity squared. That's, that was our function, y over 4 quantity squared. It was negative because I was making it, reflecting it. But the original in terms of y was just the y over 4 quantity squared. So your, your outer radius is 8, but your inner radius is 8 minus uh, y over 4 quantity squared. 
So that's kind of maybe a little bit painful. Okay, so you are integrating now. You're marching these perpendicular to that axis of rotation. So those are gonna be marching um, up. So you wanna think about going along the y axis. So you're gonna go from zero to that top value of y, which is eight square root of two. Um, you're gonna have a pi. Your outer radius is just that, um, from it's just eight squared. But your inner radius is kind of funky. It's eight minus the uh, y divided by four quantity squared. And then that whole thing is squared and then dy. So that, that inner radius is tricky to kind of visualize how, how long that is. But if you stare at it for long enough, you might be able to, to kind of uh, figure that out. Okay, so we could probably edit this one. Um, let's see. We're still going from zero to eight, square to two. I need an eight squared here. And then I need a minus. And then within here, I need eight minus um, that function. I need, oh, I got too many squares there. Look, I'm gonna put this square here. And then now I got too many. I'm gonna take this one off. Yeah, so it's eight, eight minus the y over four quantity squared, that whole thing squared. So it's the outer radius squared, which is eight squared minus the inner radius squared, dy. Let's see. So 500, uh, oops, I didn't, wait. Did I just hit X? Did I just hit the X? Sorry about that. Oh man, can you undo on this? You can, yay. Um, it didn't like it, oh, because I had this little thing there. Okay, and then 106, 1061.6 uh, to the nearest tenth. So I think that's probably the trickiest one. But again, if you're kind of, this is, and this is definitely the hardest con idea on this, on this unit. Um, but what I would say is the takeaway is that when you revolve around a uh, horizontal uh, axis of revolution, then you're going to march perpendicular to that, so you're going to integrate with respect to x. But if you have a vertical axis of revolution, then you're going to march perpendicular to that, which will be integrating with respect to y. So your limits are either x limits or y limits, depending on that. And then when you have these different axes of revolution, you really have to put your thinking cap on to express that radius um, in that way. Okay? All right. Good job, guys. Have fun. Keep, keep studying hard.